Guys, I got a product to show you here. If you need to get an e-test done in your car, you want to check the health of it, see if it's going to pass. This is the Sea Reader 3001 from Launch. I'm going to show you what you need to do to see what uh, status your car is before you go in for an e-test. You know, in the past, most e-tests would have uh, cared more about what's coming out of your tailpipe than anything. Now it's all electronic. They don't really care what you're doing to the environment as long as you pass electronically. And that's what this device will allow you to do and check and just make sure everything is good to go before you go in for an e-test. Now they will do a few things that are just visual inspections, but it is primarily going to be electronic. That's what this device is gonna help us do. It's gonna check the status of our car. Now it can do a whole lot more. Check out my review video, which you'll see at the end of this video. And um, you can see all the functions of this thing. Now for a piece of electronics, this thing comes in at $35, a really good tool to add to your toolbox, uh, especially to check for emissions. Now, two things that are going to cause you to fail an emission test right off the bat are uh, statuses in your vehicle that are set to not ready or have not passed. Um, and we're gonna check that with the machine. The other thing is your check engine light on the dash. If you do have that check engine light on on your dashboard, that yellow one right there, that is an immediate fail. So you may as well not even bring your car in for an e-test if you have that. You are gonna require some repairs. Now it all depends on what that light is on for, uh, whether or not there's a way around that. So stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll show you uh, something you can try if you do have a uh, check engine light coming on after a period of driving. Okay, so you're gonna wanna locate your OBD2 port under your dashboard. In this case, it's just to the left of the steering wheel on this vehicle. Sometimes they will be on the other side or just, just uh, one side of center usually. But that's what the port looks like and then we're just gonna plug the reader into it. Okay, as soon as you plug that in, the device is gonna power up, it's gonna take you to this screen. We wanna get into the diagnose screen. Now your car needs to be in the on position for this to work, uh, ideally running. And uh, just gonna go in, press okay. It's gonna read some info on the vehicle and then it'll bring us to our next screen. Okay, so this screen here, what we want to look for is the readiness. Now, readiness, okay. We have eight um, fields checked there, so that is good. We have none incomplete, and we have two NA. So th those are the three things we want to look for. If you have any incomplete, that's where you're going to have, a tr have trouble. So now this is a healthy vehicle. We've got all okay. Um, eight of them are okay. We have zero incomplete. That's the main one we want to have at zero. And then the NA, which is not available or not applicable, it's at two. So that doesn't really matter anything. So th this monitor status screen will come up. You can hit okay. And then if you want to just see everything in a little bit more detail, you go into the IM readiness and you're going to go to the since DTCs cleared. Now this one here is going to show you everything your misfire, your fuel, your uh, EVAP, oxygen sensors, all the different parameters that uh, this is going to test for. And this is exactly what they do in an e-test. They just check these, um, plug in their test monitor and see if you have OKs or incompletes. So in this case, we would pass no problem, all being OK. Depending on the year of your vehicle, you may have the ability to have a few incompletes. So if you your vehicle is like a 2000 vehicle, um, you may be able to get away with two incompletes. The newer vehicles, the less you're gonna have. So that's something you're gonna wanna research online before you go ahead and do this, because it's no sense if you're allowed to have two incompletes, there's no sense in trying to get those to go okay. Your vehicle will still pass. Okay, so now if you do have a check engine light on, we're gonna go back into that diagnose screen and we're gonna clear that engine light. Now, what this does is it will clear all of our readiness states. So it's gonna take everything that's okay and it's gonna put them incomplete. So we're gonna just clear that menu. We're gonna go and erase codes. So this is going to erase everything in the vehicle. It says to turn the ignition to the on position, which we're done. It's gonna process, erase those codes, clear the computer. Okay, so emission related diagnostic info has been cleared. So now if we go back into our readiness screen here, since DTC is cleared, we have a bunch of incompletes now. So now what we need to do is go for a drive and get those to go through their drive cycles, what we're gonna see in here, and get those to go from incomplete to okay. 
So now a drive cycle is just a period of time that you have to drive the vehicle and you have to reach certain parameters. So it may be, for instance, you have to have the vehicle driving at over 80 kilometers or 50 miles an hour for a few minutes, then shut the vehicle off, start it again, and another parameter must be met. So that's how the car is gonna go through its drive cycles. And then from there, we'll go in and um, reset and test each of those parameters that they're gonna check on an emissions test. Now that we've gone for our drives, we've uh, made sure that we've done this uh, certain drive cycles that we have to, we're gonna come back, we're gonna go to IM readiness again, now, rather than going to since DTC is cleared, we're going to do this drive cycle. Okay, so you can just go through, check everything. As long as you're all good there, you're all set. You're good to go. Now, I said at the beginning, if you have an engine light on, I was going to show you a way that you may still get your vehicle to pass depending on what code you have. So what we would do in that case is clear the engine light, have that uh, turn off. That, like we saw already, is going to reset all of our readiness states. But what we can do then is go through our drive cycles and as long as we can get the computer to test the different parameters without that engine light coming on because it actually may take longer to come on than the readiness states to go if you can get your vehicle in between that point you may still pass if your check engine lights on so that's a trick for you you can try you will have to play with that a little bit to see the duration of time after you get enough uh, readiness states to okay until your engine light comes on i would give that a shot if you do have a check engine light on and it's not one that's coming on right away after you clear the dtc code this c reader 3001 from launch is quickly becoming one of my favorite tools i have in my toolbox for 35 bucks it's really hard to beat lots of application for it like I said earlier, check out my review video on it so you can see all the functions that you can do with this thing. And I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helps you out when you're going for an e-test.